you take this pyramid image in the jungle that I created and zoom out, it kind of looks like an angry face. Matter of fact, it kind of looks like this angry face, but not identical. And there's a way you can make that happen using a process I found on Facebook. A ton of people I found are doing it, so I don't really know who to give credit to, but I didn't come up with this process and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty hit and miss, but I'm gonna share it with you anyway. So I'm gonna give you the base process and then maybe give you a few adjustments you can make if you're having trouble with it. The first thing I need to do is go to slash settings and I need to turn on remix mode. Mine's already green, so it's turned on, but if yours is gray, click it so it's green to turn on remix mode. And then I'm gonna type in my prompt. I've got a skull face looking forward, but then I need to add dash dash stop 20. And what that does is it'll actually stop the generation of the image at 20%, so it won't actually finish the image. So I'm gonna hit enter. So now I've got these four images here. They're all a bit blurry because I've stopped them at 20%. Now, there is a bit of a limitation to this, uh, so I'm gonna sort of address that and show you what I mean. But uh, basically, I'm gonna need to find the image which I think will best convert into something else that's a little bit more flexible because, so it could be like the jungle, could be a city, something like that. And I think I need to actually make sure it's gonna match up with what I have. So you can't just simply type in anything and get a good result. You can get a result, but it won't necessarily be good. And the way it works is uh, I'm gonna choose this image, number three, and I'm gonna go upscale, number three. And now I have this as a base. I'm gonna to go to very subtle. You can also try strong as well, but you won't get as precise a result. So for the sake of this video, we'll stick with subtle. I'm gonna go very subtle. And I need to make sure I remove the entire prompt, including the stop 20. I don't want that to be included this time. And now I type in what I'd like it to be made up of. So because I got a lot of blue around the skull, I've decided to go with an aerial view of an island surrounded by water and click submit. And now you can see I've got these islands and they're kind of skull shaped. There's bits of trees and that around. And I've been able to actually sort of convert that into an island that's shaped like a skull, like our original image. So I'm gonna upscale this so we can take a look. Once again, I'm gonna have number three. As you can see, that's our image. It doesn't look too bad, it's not, it's not fantastic, but I do have a few tips for you. The other thing too is, if you want to actually take the original skull image and get an idea of what that would have looked like, head back up to your original generation, hit very subtle again, keep everything the same and just remove stop 20, hit submit. And this is pretty much the direction our original image was heading in, but there's too much detail for us in these images to use to achieve this effect. Now, like I said, you may have a bit of trouble with this. As a matter of fact, you may find that these results aren't what you need and you may need to often re-roll. And because we have remix mode turned on, we could even just say, aerial view of land and we can simply try and retry and i highly recommend doing that try a bunch of different prompts to try and get what you want because chances are you're not going to get what you like straight off the bat so that's my first tip so i'm going to submit this so you can see we've got a few cool results like this one here which i will upscale and you can see how it's kind of got this sort of like city created so we've got our skull shape when you view it from a distance, but otherwise it's actually something completely different and pretty unique. So we can continue to go down this rabbit hole of trying new things. I can even try view of a beach from inside a cave and submit and check out that result. We'll have a look at number two. And although the quality of the image isn't really its best, you can see how it's a cave. You're looking out to the water and there's rocks and we've got that skull formation and uh, it's a pretty cool technique. But the other tip I have for you starts before you even actually start the generation. For one, we've got the re-rolls to keep experimenting. The other thing is you may want to experiment or re-roll with your initial image, but also get a bit more descriptive. So I've got an image of a skull that is actually in a jungle. So I'll show you what I did. I'm gonna to go to slash imagine skull face facing forward. I prefer not to have so much around it. So I'm just gonna go close up. And because I wanted a jungle, I'm gonna type in green color and I might even experiment with duotone brown and green so what i've done is i've described the skull and then i've also described the colors i want for one i want it to be close up so i want to try and cut out some of that room around the outside of the skull and i've also tried to stick with a green color brown and green earthy tones because that's the look that i think the jungle would probably run best at i added my dash dash stop 20 you can experiment with the different levels you can go 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent 20 percent seems to be a nice sweet spot so let's give that a go and again we have our images here I'm actually gonna try number one and number four. We'll start with this one, but I'm gonna try the same prompt on both. I go very subtle again, remove my prompt. I've got thick jungle, DSLR photo, highly detailed, sharp. I'm gonna copy that, because I'm gonna submit, 
and then also add that to the other image. Again, remove the stop and check out those results. Again, two and four are the best, so let's check those out. But before we do, looking at these, these ones don't particularly look any good. They do still have that skull appearance to them, but again, an undesirable result and would require a bit more experimentation. But let's go and check out those two we upscaled before. We've got our jungle shot, again, looking like a skull and another with some different details. And again, it doesn't quite produce as good of an image, but you still get that really cool effect. And these are where the skull shapes were heading for that image, which I think looks pretty cool considering what we got from the jungle, but there's still even more we can do. If I really like this image, I can go to very subtle. I can keep the same details if I want to pull it a little bit further away from the skull and more towards this prompt. So you can still vary upon this image again and it should stay close to that skull, but you will start to slowly step away from it. So let's submit and see what results we get. And as you can see, it's deviated a fair bit this time, so it may not work as well as you'd hoped, but the image quality, the details are a bit better. So you could probably use that to Photoshop in some bits and pieces, but going back to our original, that's closer to our skull. So that's giving you a few ideas to work with. I hope you have a bit of fun with this. Like I have, again, a bit hit and miss, but still a lot of fun. And if you're patient enough, you can get something that looks really striking. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, have a great day, and I hope to see you again soon.